In this video, we'll talk about the charge on silicon, SI, and we're talking about ionic charge. We're not talking about oxidation number, which is something different. What we are talking about is when SI forms bonds with another element, an ionic bond, how many electrons would it gain or lose? If we look at the periodic table, we have this general trend for ionic charge, where group one, those elements form ions with the one plus ionic charge, group two, two plus, 3 plus in group 13, and then group 14 would be silicon that would be either 4 plus or 4 minus. However, SI normally forms covalent bonds, so it doesn't really make sense to talk about ionic charge with silicon. If we look at the periodic table with a little more detail, we can see the elements that are visible here. We know the ionic charge for these elements, but things like SI or carbon or boron, really because they mainly form covalent compounds, we don't talk about ionic charge for these elements. This is Dr. B with the ionic charge for silicon SI. We really don't talk about ionic charge for silicon. Thanks for watching.